Please remember to state your name and affiliation. Thank you, guys. Yep. Bill, Scott Bill Doyle, Worcester Telegram. Um, can you just talk about the performance of Isaiah Thomas? He flew back from Washington last night, one o'clock game. The thing he was at his sister's funeral yesterday, and how he performed. Well, I, I think the biggest thing you can say he's 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 the biggest winner. Uh, he's one of the biggest winners in this league. He just plays with everything he has. And, that's what you want your players to do. Uh, he's an incredible talent, uh, one of the best players in basketball. Scott, how, how is, to your right, how is Markeith? What do you know about what's going uh, on with him? Don't know forward? nothing um, as of yet. He doesn't want it. Uh, I watched the video. Didn't look good, but we'll see how he feels tomorrow and go from there. I, but I, I don't have an update yet. And how much does not having him change things against this particular group? Well, it, it, I mean, it definitely changes things, but you know, we have to next man up. We have to figure out how to how to compete. And I thought our guys did a pretty good job. We we let the three point ball get away from us, and but that's what they do. They, you know, they shoot over thirty seven threes a game during these playoffs, and they were nineteen for thirty nine. It's it's hard to do that when nobody's guarding you, and they got some really good shooters all over the floor, and we just have to do a better job with that. Uh, Keith, you know, it's, it was tough losing them. That's that's part of it. You just gotta you gotta move on and try to figure out ways to compete. Scott, Steve Balpet, Boston Herald. Um, the difficulties that Al Horford presented to you guys in the fourth quarter, inside outside. Uh, how difficult was that to deal with? Uh, you know, he's he's one of the best all around bigs in the league. He's probably you know top two or three passing bigs in the league, and he shoots three. So. He's a problem. You have to figure out, you know, how, how to, the best way to maintain what he brings to the team. But you know, it's, he's uh, definitely causes problems because he can step all the way out to the three and he can put the ball on the floor. And you know, he's a great passer. Ten assists from your five spot that doesn't happen often. Scott, uh, sorry again to you. Right in Atlanta. In the Atlanta series, you had single quarters that went really poorly for you in a couple of those games, and then you had one of those today. Is there any common traits there, or is this just a turnover-based thing in those quarters? Uh, this is probably the only, the only time I would say this. I don't like the consistency of it. It seems like every game we're having one of those quarters uh, when we don't play well. Uh, and tonight was definitely that third quarter. They did a great job of putting ball pressure and, and and getting into us, and, and we did not do a good job of handling handling that. Uh, but definitely the third quarter, uh, lose the third quarter by 20 points is it's tough to make up. But we did. You know, we had a chance that we cut it. I think we cut it to three. Uh, we missed some free throws in that fourth quarter, so we could even make closer. But our guys, are, one thing I love about our team, we're going to keep competing no matter what the score is. We're going to keep playing uh, for each other. Scott, what can you do? to reduce the quality of some of those three-point looks? Uh, we're going to take a look at it. Uh, we thought we had some opportunities to stop the basketball. You know, they're really good at driving and kicking out to threes. And we have to be able to handle the, the, the initial, re, initial action of, of them attacking us. And you have to be able to do that without much help. Uh, but if you don't, they're going to they're gonna take a lot of threes. We just have to make sure they're contested. I don't think they were just from my Watching live, I don't think there were a lot of contested threes, and so we have to make sure we clean that up going into the next game. Scott, second row here. Uh, before Markeith went down, Celtics only had two offensive rebounds. After he was gone, it uh, went up to 10 offensive rebounds. I know he's not doing a lot of the grabbing, but what, is he, what, what does his presence on the court allow you guys to do to be able to keep him off the boards? Well, he's, he's, he's a matchup problem. He can score inside, he can score outside. He puts the ball on the floor. You know, he, he gets six or seven, eight rebounds a game, but he blocks out. He knows how to play. He's a smart basketball player. We definitely missed him, but like I, I, I will tell the guys, it's, there's no excuse. We just, we, we got beat. We got beat. We gave up a lot of threes, uh, and they made a lot of threes. So, um, but Keith, you know, we'll see how he feels the next few days. All right, you guys have a good afternoon.